Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and today we're talking about color grading. This is something you, uh, you would probably want to do on the end of your editing. After you did all of your essentials editings, then you'll move on to color grading. I am going to use this photo. We'll take different examples, but we'll start with this one. And I am going to show you there are many ways of doing color grading. The first one going from the essentials panels, it's uh, onto your develop and that is your curve tool. So here you can um, color grade your image by, let's, let's do one grade that will apply with many tools. So we're just gonna add warmth in the highlights and cool tones into the shadows. In order to do that, I would go to my blue color channel here. I will put the dot into the middle, one into the shadows, one into the highlights. If I wanted to add warmth into the highlights, I will have to pull down the blues because we know the opposite color of blue is yellow. So by pulling down the blues, I'm adding warmth into the highlights. Now that adds yellow. If I wanted to add a little bit of red to the highlights to make it more orange because you know, yellow and red makes so orange, then I will increase the reds and I can get like an orange tone into the highlights. To add a cool tone into the shadows, we would go to our shadows and we'll add a little bit of bloom. And then we can go to our reds and we know the opposite of red is cyan. So we'll pull down the reds and that adds some cyan. And now here's our before and after, before and after. And this is our color toning using curves. I'm going to reset this and we'll do the same thing using a different tool this time. We can use toning, color grading with toning. And here it's split into two tabs, shadows and highlights. First, we have to increase the amount. And then if we go to highlights, I like to increase the saturation to 100%. That way I know what color I'm working with. I can see it better. And then I'll drag the hue slider until I get the color I want. That's a pretty orange in the highlights. And now I can decrease to saturation until it looks right. Now I can go to shadows, increase the saturation to 100%, and I can move the slider until I get the right blue that works for my image, and then decrease the saturation. And now we did the same color toning. This is the before and after, before and after, using the toning tool. I am going to reset it, and we're gonna go to a different tool that we can do color grading. And that is into the color harmony and the color balance. Into the color balance, we have three options. We can use shadows, midtones, and highlights. Which one do we want to target? So let's go to highlights and do the same thing like we did with curves. We'll add a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow to make orange into the highlights. And then we can go into the shadows and add our cyan and blue to get the cool tone into the shadows. And this is the before and after. Before and after. And uh, we color graded three ways this image and we got the same result. Let's take a few different um, images that are not landscape. I'm going to maybe try with this one. I'll go to edit. Let's see, which tool do we wanna use for this one? I'm gonna use the color harmony color balance. I find this one to be the, the easiest out of the three. Well, color toning it's easy too. So into the highlights, I will add, let's see, what do we want to add? We definitely want to add some warmth because it has this sun flare over here. And we want to just to look like that sunset, sun kiss look. So we'll add some yellow and a little bit of red. And that looks good. And then into the shadows, we will add our cool tones, some cyan and some blue. And let's see, this is our before and after. Before and after. Let's do a different example. And this time, oh, let's do this one because this one will be a little bit different. So for this one, I'm gonna use the same color harmony and I'm gonna work with mid-tones for this one. And the mid-tones, which the boat is kind of into the mid-tones shadows area, I'm gonna add red 
to make it more red. And you see the water over here, the reflection and the boat, it's more red. And then into the highlights, I'm going to add a cool tone. We have these cool mountains with the snow. So I'm going to add a little bit of cyan and a little bit of blue. And now this is our before and after. Before and after. Let's move to a different example. And let's use this example. For this example, we'll use toning. And in the shadows, I'm going to increase the amount. In the shadows, I am going to use... What should we use? I kind of like that blue. Let's do the bloom. We'll decrease the amount. And then into the highlights, where the skin tone lies, we probably want like a reddish orange. And we'll decrease the amount. And maybe that was too red. Let's see. That's before and after. It's definitely a little too pink. So I'm going to slide it over a little bit more. And there you go. There's before and after. Before and after. Let's take one more example and we'll do this horse. For this horse, I am going to use toning again. And onto the highlights, we probably, we have the sky, it's mostly the highlights. So I'm going to add some cool tones. So maybe some cyan. I don't want green. Maybe something like that. I will tone it down. And then onto the shadows, we have an orange horse. Let's add a little bit of red, orange, something like that. So this is our before and after. Before and after. Let's see. Should we do some example maybe with curves? Let's do this one with curves. We'll go back to our develop and we'll go into our curves. And let's see. We'll put our dots in the midtones, highlights, and shadows. And I am going to add some reds. And now I'm going to go to the blues, add my dots again. And I want to add yellow into the blue, blues so I can get a good skin tone. So let's go with that. And then into the shadows, I want to add blue and a little bit of cyan. Let's see. This is our before and after. Before and after. And if that is too much, of course, you can, like if we don't want the skin to be impacted so much, we can take an eraser, put it at 50%, and just paint over the skin to only apply the effect on the skin at 50%. And there you go. So now we have the before and after. Before and after. I forgot to erase some the skin over here. There you go. And this is how I will color grade um, an image in Luminar Neo. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Turn on that notification button so you will not miss any future videos. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.